Hello, fight fans, and how's everybody doing today? Today's topic is on Wilder versus Fury, the trilogy, the third fight between these two. Last night was a good fight, one of the best fights in a while in the heavyweight division. Deontay Wilder was trying to reclaim his WBC heavyweight championship of the world that he lost controversially in some people's eyes to Tyson Fury last February in 2020. He came in to, with a record of 42-1-1 one one with 41 knockouts, the highest percentage by a heavyweight champion in history. Tyson Fury, the defending WBC champion, came into the fight at 30 wins and one draw with 21 knockouts. It was a good fight, an action-packed fight. And for the first two rounds, Deontay Wilder stuck to the game plan of his new trainer who told him to use his jab more, double up his jab more, go to the body, and put his hands up when Fury attacks. And for the first two rounds, he, he did so. But the third round, Deontay started letting his hands down. And Fury started to weigh in and get some shots in, especially the shots to the ear and near the ear, which caused Wilder equilibrium to go, let's say, to go haywire. But Deontay hung on strong, but he was knocked down in the third round. He got up, but was a little dazed. He fought the round out and went back to the corner. His trainer, Malik Scott, told him to keep his hands up and stick to the plan and throw the jab and use his power shots to the body as well. In the fourth round, during a furious exchange, Deontay dropped Tyson Fury with a barrage of punches. Fury got up, but was clearly dazed. Deontay hit him with another hard right hand, and Fury went down. Fury, to his credit, got up and continued to fight on throughout the round. In the fifth round, there was a heavy exchange between the two. Tyson Fury, as he did in the previous two fights, used all of his 280 pounds on De Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder seemed to tire. And when he got to the ropes, Tyson Fury pressed forward, leaned on Wilder, and started hitting him towards the ear again like he did in the second fight, which he had success with. It was clear to most that Deontay Wilder was gassed after the fifth round. But he fought on and landed some good shots, good power shots rather, to the face and body. Tyson Fury leaned on Deontay Wilder and threw some good punches himself. Good left hooks, overhand rights, and shots to the body and he pressed forward as well. The fight went like some people expected. Went all out blitz which with both men throwing hard shots at each other, trying to knock each other's head off. Deontay Wilder by the ninth round was spent. The 238 pounds Deontay Wilder bulked up to be was probably a little too much for him since he normally weighs in around 215 pounds. Tyson Fury is a big guy, 6'9", so him weighing almost 280 pounds was kind of not a big problem for him since he's used to that weight. Deontay stamina decreased while Tyson Fury stamina stayed the same. And after a vicious exchange in the 11th round, Tyson Fury landed a barrage of punches that knocked Deontay Wilder down and the referee stopped the fight. All in all, it was a good fight. There was some controversy for this fight as well because of the gloves. Deontay Wilder got a puncher's glove, but he was not used to that puncher's glove, but he tried to even the playing field because Fury used the same gloves that he used last time, in which some people thought Fury let's say 
did not fight fair with those gloves last time because it looked like the gloves had padding out of it. So Deontay got a similar pair of gloves. Some say he broke his hand, even though that's not been confirmed yet. It's a good fight. Brother, it was a great fight. And both men need to be applauded. Uh, whether, whether or not Deontay Wilder fights again, he may need to get a new trainer, like a Floyd Mayweather Sr. who wanted to train him before this trilogy. If Deontay Wilder continues to fight. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, has a contractual obligation to fight Dillian White because Dillian White is the number one contender for the WBC. We'll see how that goes. Well, that's my time for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the post-fight recap. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.